Guys, I think we're a bit lost here. Um, we've made some ways up the mountain. There's not too many other people going up this way. And I heard some crashing in the bushes there. I'm not sure what it is. It's possible we're not alone out here. I'm a little concerned about the avalanche happening. <laughs> We've got a big plan for tomorrow. We're gonna to do a hike called Crypt Hike. But in order to start that hike, we have to, I don't know if we have to get tickets or make reservations at a marina, because it will take us across this lake here to the other side. Now we're trying to find this Parks Canada office building to try to find information on the ferry to take us on tomorrow's hike. I wanna guess it's this building here. Judging from the Canadian flag there, and the rock-like siding of the building. But who knows? Not quite how I thought the video would start with us consistently getting lost, not knowing where to go. That's fine because nothing here <laughs> and then we have things to see. Yeah, usually. We lately we've been filming in places we already are familiar with, so. Let's see. Do not use this entrance, it's an exit. I don't know how many. This is like the third church. This is the third church we've run into this town. How many churches does this little town need? All churches, no parks building. All right, the search continues. I'll uh, check in with you guys as soon as I find it. The, the campsite we reserved, the guy at the toll booth that gave us our uh, reservation and ticket, literally told me the address of the parks building and as soon as he started talking about where the address was it was just like monkeys monkeys dancing in my head but from a distance i've seen this canada parks vehicle seems very promising is this it well i guess we're still lost well, I mean, this is looking promising. I want to check this out. I want to check out this building anyway. See what the hell's going on. If I was to guess, I would say this is a Parks Canada building. You have the wooden siding. We found it. Yeah, it's those, they have two, but neither of those are open right now. Okay. Get out, guys. It's another church. What are we at here? We're at four churches. So if you guys enjoy hiking and getting your worship on, this is, uh, this is your town. Oh, as well, we have some not-so-good news. We can't do that crypt hike tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> the ferry is not running right now and that hike is still full of snow which I mean judging from this town you'd never guess but anyway oh look is that another church yeah anyway um, what was I saying yes so our hiking plans have changed yeah that's fine but it'll be super scenic yeah, we're gonna do one called Bears Bears Hump or Hike. Bears Hump Hike. It's super short. It's it's this guy here, as you can see. Yeah. So we will try to catch the sunrise there tomorrow. 5:53 is the sunrise. And oh, for a minute there, I thought this was another church, but it's just a community center. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> It's like I walked for five minutes and there were like four churches all, you know. All right, we're walking around. All right, we're just kind of walking around looking for that trailhead just so we don't have to search for it in the morning. But check out this waterfall. Pretty, pretty epic. Oh yeah, very nice. We're very poor planners. We don't plan for anything anymore. This is really bad. I'll tell you why it's really bad, because... <laughs> Let's go to Waterton and just drove here. 
So I remember when I first started traveling, man, I'd be researching exactly how to get to the airport. I'd be researching what bus to take from the airport to whatever hotel I was staying at. The exact time, the bus number, all that stuff. All this research. Yes, I'll show you the view. So that's, that's it there. Beautiful mountain, lots of trees. No worries, I will get a better video once we get higher up. Nice epic shot of the mountain there. Anyway, yeah. I am getting worse and worse for this planning thing. Every airport we get to later and later, almost missing the planes now. Yeah, gorgeous. I can see other trees. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And that's bear hump. Uh, fingers crossed, I'm hoping tomorrow, tomorrow morning we get up there and get an epic sunrise. Sunrise hike. <laughs> Plus 24. I'm not sure if you can hear me because of the waterfall, but uh, yeah, weather tomorrow, plus 24. Oh, there it is, guys. More epicness. There you guys go. Pretty awesome start to the trip. That's it. That's Bear Hump. That's the sunrise hike we're going to do tomorrow. Um, probably when we get back to the campsite. Maybe I'll make a short video of our tent, that sort of thing. Our little setup there, a little camping setup. And then after that, hopefully we'll see you here in the morning. something you like. We got all sorts of jams here. Little ones, huckleberry. And we got some chocolate bars. Popcorn. Pretzels. And this is what a ice cream parlor looks like in the apocalypse. How's your milkshake? Oh my god, it's really good. Good? You want to try it? Yeah, I'll have a tiny bit. It's black cherry. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Alright guys, this is a bit of the setup we have here. Uh, trunk. Trunk of my car. Just keeping all the food and knickknacks in there. Picnic table. We usually don't do this type of camping, but this was very convenient, so... And open. Got our camping chairs. Isabel, she's making the nest. This is our home. Yes. Can you I'll stick this in. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Again, we usually don't do this type of camping. We're usually kind of out in the middle of nowhere, that sort of thing. But this was just too convenient to pass up. Plus, the weather was just too beautiful. So I hope that <laughs> sums up. Yeah, but Our little tent. it doesn't matter the conditions, the tent is always the same. Always looks the same. Yes, that is true. And there you go. And now we have a nice car where we, could, we can put everything. Yes, my new car. We no longer have that blue truck. And there's that mountain I was talking about earlier. We're going to climb tomorrow. That one there. Are we going to climb? No. Sorry. <laughs> I should stop using that word. I'm not going to climb it. We're going to take a stroll. We're going to take a very, very small stroll up there. All right. Adios. Till the morning. Sunrise hike.
because we slept in. <laughs> and we decided last night we didn't really want to do it. So we're going to do a few other fun activities today. See you there. Whee! <laughs> right? All right, as our plans have changed once again, we're doing a little hike called Lower Bertha Falls. This is a little bridge we found, and the trailhead should be up, up around here somewhere. Yep, we found the trailhead, guys. Finally. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What do we got here? We got some car keys. Someone's shoes, gloves. Okay. Hopefully they're all right. To falls, to a lake, to go hunt. There you go. The possibilities here. All right. Let's start this epic hiking adventure. Woo! Right, Isabel? Where's your enthusiasm? Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with this video footage because this is all very random. <laughs> I didn't plan for any of this. We basically just came. Uh, we came to Waterton just because the weather was so gorgeous. So I was plus 22 today. So. We had a very, very, very long winter where we're from. So we decided to make the, what is it, four or five hour trip out here. Enjoy the sun, which I haven't worn a t-shirt in a long time. So I'm loving it. Oh, check out this forest, guys. Crazy. I'm loving like, it. Like something out of Lord of the Rings, you know? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't know what to do with this video. I'm not sure what it's about. Just us getting lost in Waterton and planning random things. Ah, we'll see what we can do with the video. Okay, how are you? So, hoping I'm gonna get some good shots of the waterfalls. Be kinda nice. And then, after this little hike, we're gonna go to town and do some fun things. You'll see that later on in the video. <laughs> see what kind of fun activities we can do downtown. Amazing view, hey guys. Not bad at all. Nabbed a couple of photos there. Hopefully they turn out all right. Uh, you got still got snow here. Wow. What a gorgeous view. Incredible. Too bad about the forest fire here, but you can see the trail kind of goes around the mountain here. Yeah, I'm liking this hike. It's pretty, pretty interesting. I'll zoom in on the lake here a bit more. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna take a few photos here and maybe some B-roll. Guys, we hit this junction. So apparently we're only 1.4K away. But the actual lake is 4.2. So now we're just kind of discussing what to do. No, or you want to do the one that is longer? 11k? Oh, wait, but that's just going there? Uh, I think it's round trip. I'm not sure. I think I'm pretty sure it's round trip. Okay. Yeah, either or. Um, 
Yeah, yeah I thought with the stops it would have taken us longer, but uh, I don't know what to say. We're, we're pretty quick when it comes to hiking. We walk fairly fast. So. Do we? I think so. Do I? Yeah. Um. Well, like this entire video. <laughs> More poor planning and not knowing what we're doing. But, but, you know, for now, let's go to the falls and then see how we feel. And if we want to go further, we'll go further. Probably just follow this ridge here. Yeah, for where we're going. But what the a one view. one down there is apparently Canada, US border. Oh, that one's really far. Yeah. That's like an all day thing. Yeah, there's a trail there, guys. If you go there, it takes you pretty much to the Next time we come. to the what is it, Montana border in the states. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. Next, next time. We'll come. Next time. We'll come here. Mm -hmm. Well, safe to say we're almost there. Very, very unique scenery. I'm loving it. Yes? The distance is... 2.4 kilometers? Yeah, I think that's pretty much what it said. So we're one oh, for the lake. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you want to do that one, this, this is a, it's a very easy hike. I, I wouldn't even call it a hike, it's an easy walk. <laughs> there you go, that's the falls. Not sure if you can hear me super loud here, but pretty gorgeous. No? I don't know. Okay. It might not be the falls. The only reason why I'm guessing is uh, there's no sign. The next sign is for the one for the lake. So if we find the real falls. I'll let you guys know. Okay, guys, we found the real falls. Apologize about earlier. <laughs> This was like a 90 second walk away. Well, let's check it out. Look at that. Woo! Very nice. Beautiful. Oh. There you have it. Earth the Falls. Guys, I think we're a bit lost here. Um, we've made some ways up the mountain, but you can see there's still a fair amount of snow here. But uh, uh, we'll see. But we'll see what happens. Uh, get back to you when we get back on the trail. All right, guys. We found a few tracks leading straight up that way. So we're hoping this is the way. Not too many other people going up this way. And I heard some crashing in the bushes there. I'm not sure what it is, but we do have the bear spray handy. All right guys, false alarm. That crashing in the bushes I heard was just a dog. Dog that's up there, but I met some more people doing this. Just hike to the lake. All right, see you up there. There you go. See, you can see Waterton Lake out there. And we're on the side of this mountain here. These people are having a hell of a time trying to get up. 
I think it's better the way we took to kind of scale the mountain this way. But I'm, uh, I'm a little concerned about an avalanche happening as we're here in May. And this can slide at any moment, plummeting us to a snowy burial. So let's quickly get off this thing, check out that lake, and we'll be good. Mm, thank you, sweetheart. Good news, guys. We got off this snowy ridge here, which I don't think is the best idea in the world to be hiking up that. I mean, <clears throat> at any point, that whole sheet of snow and ice can just come sliding down the mountainside here. I think we're kind of in a safe zone here, kind of hitting the forested part of this hill. You can see uh, the forest fire didn't quite make it through here, which is good. And then you can see this mountainside here though, all the trees are dead, absolutely gone. Uh, you got a little patch of live ones there, but other than that, Oh yeah, I definitely feel I definitely feel a lot safer now that we're in this part of the mountain. Isabel, she's super fit, so she's way ahead of me. She's a very good trekker, as you can tell from our Nepal series. <clears throat> but also in the Nepal series, I was using a GoPro, not a heavy camera. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh. All right, guys. We're kind of back on the snowy part of the mountain again. I thought we were through this, but we came way down that way. This is what the side looks like here. It's just pure snow. But I'm hoping once we get to the top, that lake view will be epic. Fingers crossed. Right, Isabel? <laughs> She's concentrating. <clears throat> concentrating on the, on the hike. Okay, eventually I think I'm gonna have to put this camera away so I want to risk breaking it falling um, but I will continue filming on an iPhone so if the footage gets kind of less in quality it's just because I switched from the camera to the iPhone all right I'll see you guys at the lake uh, we're lost again Isabel here Thought she heard something in the bushes. I didn't hear it this time. Maybe it was nothing. Maybe it's myself. It's possible we're not alone out here. Uh oh. I think we're close to the lake. This is exciting. All right, guys. I think we're here. I think we made it. Check it out. Wow. Still frozen. And we're in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Got this cool bridge here too. That's it guys, that's the lake. Sorry? Oh, yeah. So, what do you guys think? Was it worth the... Uh, was it worth the effort we put in to get here? Tell me your uh, thoughts, comments, down below. Uh, the wind's picking up a bit though. Let's look at all that snow. Incredible. Wow. Beautiful spot nonetheless. Look at that water coming out of there. All right, guys, my battery is kind of dying out here. I do have another one, but there's some stuff I want to film in town. And I don't want to slip and fall off this camera, so after this, I think the footage will be with my iPhone. Switch off with the iPhone.
Alright guys, just finishing up some lunch here. Oh, that's some dust on the lens there. Let me get that. There we go. Got ourselves some trail mix. Good stuff. The camera I was using, I'm going to put it away because I don't want to fall down and accidentally have a mishap with it. That's the Gorilla Pod I promised I would buy in the last video, if you guys remember. Last video or second last video? I don't remember. But anyway. Mike is on its way, and I guess I'm gonna need a new battery as well. Okay. Or extra battery, I should say. But yeah, there's another shot, another shot on the lake there. And after this, we're gonna head back down. Don't know how we're gonna get off that mountain, but uh, let's find out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that hike up. If we have any trouble coming down, I'll uh, I don't know, I'll see if I can make a video with the phone here. <laughs> We're already running into problems. <laughs> How the hell do we get off this mountain? All right. Oh, this, will, this is going to be fun. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'm definitely glad I put my camera away because we both keep falling down because it snows like this. Look at this. I just keep. So, so, unless you don't mind this sort of thing, which we kind of don't, but I mean, for me, my concern is breaking a leg or damaging my camera. Um, but, I mean, it's not. I mean, if you take your time. And you don't rush. I think you'd be all right. Um, I mean, it is kind of fun. Morning.
I'm recording. Don't mind me. Hello. Howdy. Um, I have a reservation. Alright, can I just have your last name? Uh, yeah, it's uh, S-A-N. D-R-U. Uh, yep. have a map of the area like hiking trails and whatnot um so i don't have one of the entire park i have one of just the town site and okay. the campground but if you go to the visitor center uh, they'll, have, they'll have the map of the whole uh the whole uh park okay cool yeah. and that the, the visitor center is on the yeah yeah i think we see now the way in here yeah. okay all right thanks have a good one guys yeah, you, you too, too. First cap of the season. <laughs> Waterton! Waterton! <laughs> D15. T to the left. Nice view anyway. Yeah, but this is just for images. Don't talk in English. Uh, That's not what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You shot to the different. Because I put the widest. Oh, that is opening the the yeah. way for you. What if I do a low? Or you, you use whatever you need. Uh, either is good. Uh, hip shots are really good. Uh, low shots are good. Yeah. You can hang it with a different perspective. Yeah. 
So there's too many people that do this like shoulder height thing, which it looks like the footage looks kind of boring. That's the advice you need to do. From here, use whatever is useful. Are we? According to my watch, yes. The distance is two point four kilometers. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what it said. So we're halfway because there's one that is four feet. Oh, for the lake. Yeah, if you want to do that one, it's a, it's a very, it's a hike. It's a hike. It's a small hike.